This is the front entrance to Mill Ridge Farm. Nothing over the top or elaborate, but you could say the farm's reputation in the thoroughbred horse industry is. From the farm's rolling pastures have come an Epson Derby winner, multiple Kentucky Derby and Triple Crown race winners, plus other successful horses that were raised and sold on the farm. The lineage goes on and on, but in 2017, Mill Ridge really, General really Farm really Manager Mark Richardson uh, became year, concerned about no pastures on the foals. farm and some of the problems their foaling mares were experiencing. Multiple foalings that had to have veterinarians come out. Um, we had a lot of uh, mares that did not have uh, any milk production. Since working with UK's Horse Pasture Evaluation Program, that has changed. Yes, I definitely feel that the pasture renovations are what um, turned our foaling season around. It's just uh, everything was just classic examples of the issues with fescue, and um, it was just such a big improvement. This looks like a, a sedge. Mill Ridge's veterinarian suggested well, reaching out to UK's horse pasture evaluation program to come to the farm and do some sampling in their pastures and then make recommendations. That proved to be the right call. So we came out and did an initial um, discussion with them. We looked at a few pastures and concluded that fescue toxicity was likely a challenge on their farm. So then we came back out um, with some additional help and did some sampling of those pastures. Um, and so from there, we've had a pretty regular conversation with them, um, going over the results that we've had, um, as well as the recommendations, kind of walking them through as they um, killed pastures or renovated pastures and have been in the process of reseeding and reestablishing those species. Like, I guess every farm is different and every farm is unique and it's been uh, one of the pleasures to, to get to walk on horse farms like this and take a look at the pasture resource and to understand then how that fits into their management, their rotation of horses uh, and how it works on that farm. We were referred to this farm by their practicing veterinarian who was well aware of the pasture program uh, that Krista takes care of uh, that's run out of the uh, Plant and Soil Science Department at UK and through the Equine Initiative uh, and felt like that, that this could be a asset to the farm and uh, certainly was worth the, the consultation with them. Mark Richardson says Mill Ridge Farm is pleased with UK's recommendations and results and offers advice to any farm that might be experiencing similar problems. You, your pasture is nice and green, it looks good, and you think, hey, everything's okay. But, you know, until somebody, they come out and evaluate it and, you know, tell you what kind of fescue you have and test it, you know, it really, you really don't know. So I would recommend, you know, anybody to do it, and especially if you've had any kind of issues that are you know, usually associated with the fescue toxicity, I would, I would highly recommend it. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.